it's Dan French. I'm back. Uh, thank you for taking the time last week to tune into my live broadcast on YouTube, Loan to Keys by Dan French. You guys can tune in every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. and uh, merely get all your questions answered, financing or real estate related. You know, I'm not a real estate agent. I got a pretty good idea of what's going on in the market. But it's anything that you have as far as questions, maybe that your current lender is not answering for you or just questions that you might have had in the past. Is it, is it a good time to refinance or not? You know, we're going to talk about that here in a little bit on this segment. But overall, I just want to start off and thank everybody again. And let's talk about what rates are doing this week. Rates really edged lower. And a lot of it was due because of low inflation data and a slowing economic growth right now going on in our economy. And a lot of this is, it's good news for rates, but it's also something to look at. You know, you talk about gross domestic product and retail sales. And, you know, in December, we had one of the slowest retail, sale, retail sales numbers uh, in, in nine years. And so <clears throat> looking at this information, it's, it's a little alarming, but it's not, I'm not going to be worried about it, but it's something to pay attention to. Now, what this does for rates is... It's more of a safe haven for investors out there. So what they do is they take that money out of the stock market or investing it in other ways, and they put it into a bond market, which is more of a safe haven. And as the bond price uh, goes down, rates go up inversely for the most part. Now, if investors are putting money into the bond market, then the bond price is actually... Uh, going up because they're not enticing investors to come into that market and, and ultimately the yield goes down so the rates go down it's, it's a kind of an inverse relationship but we're seeing a lot of investors put their money into the bond market right now which is helping impact rates um, obviously with the slow data for uh, the lowering data for inflation inflation guys is a big barometer it really dictates what rates do um, especially for the Fed and how things work, you know. Uh, but anyways, if you look at the rates right now, we're at 4.37% according to Freddie Mac's graph. And, you know, that's really good. We're edging lower. I know maybe middle of last year, we were hovering right around 5%. And I was worried that it was really going to keep going and push some out of the market, push some people out of the market, just not want to buy. And I think sometimes the, the numbers come out the Fed does have an impact on what happens here, and I'm going to tell you how. Consumer confidence is really just kind of how people perceive the market, how they perceive buying a home or purchasing some type of product with the ability to have sustainability over a period of time, paying that mortgage or paying into a loan. And so what's happened is consumer confidence was at an all-time, you know, not an all-time, but it was a very high uh, margin. And, you know, when you have consumers start sitting on the sidelines, they're, they're not confident in the, in the fact that the house prices keep soaring, rates keep going higher. All of a sudden, they're worried about 2005, 6, and 7 when the collapse happened. Everybody's like, well, let's go and think about renting because we don't know what's happening. And, you know... For me, anything could happen, but I can tell you and I can assure you that the lending practice of giving bad loans or writing bad loans is no longer there because you're governed more by entities that track your information as a loan officer. I know that because they track me. And at this time, because if there's a housing collapse, it's not going to be due to writing bad loans. It's going to be due to a global situation you know it's going to be a housing market a bond market and a stock market all which would contribute towards a, a housing collapse and nobody has that information so we don't know i can tell you though if you're worried about buying a home because the housing market is going to collapse i can assure you that the numbers don't show that it's going to happen you know we're not giving out loans like we did um, yes things were going a little bit quicker on appreciation for homes and rates were going higher, but that also has contributed to supply and demand, right? It's really what was driving it was consumer confidence 
and what people are willing to pay for homes. You know, when you got a lot of people from California and other states coming here, they're driving the, the economy up here by buying homes. And ultimately in an area, if enough homes sold at a certain price point, obviously that price is going up for homes in that area. And so if you look at the economy and you look at what's going on start of 2019, I can assure you that we're in a frenzy market. You know, there was some stagnation October, November, December on buying homes. Um, I think that obviously it's normal. That's typically our slower months. Uh, and that's also the holidays. But usually January, February, it's a little slow still. And I think starting off this year, we've seen some huge increases right off the bat. And a lot of people out there are buying homes that maybe were on the sidelines. You know, you see 30% of applications have increased since December and January. That's really good news. That's for new home purchases. Uh, you look at uh, the new home sales has surged roughly 30%. Uh, really since 2013, since this survey started to to really be tracked. Uh, and so when you see all this news going on, you see really four contributing factors. A strong labor's market. Uh, you see uh, wage earning going up. Um, you see, obviously, we talked about home sales. They were really going up, but they've come down now. And they've leveled out. And they've, here in Las Vegas, they've leveled out. And it's now more affordable or it's not increasing or you know going up as quick as it was and it actually in some cases it's declined because buyers are savvy and they're getting the idea that you know going out and buying a home and you're spending twenty thirty thousand dollars above asking price is probably not the best thing to do so obviously sellers have come down there's a lot more homes on the market too which has contributed to what's going on here in Las Vegas at the start of 2019 and then you have Slowing economic data, which has helped contribute to, I, I believe, lower rates. You know, we're edging lower. So home affordability and sustainability is really there right now. And I think it's putting people back in the market. I don't think you should ever rent unless you have to. You know, so there's a lot of good information out there. I give you the best data that I can, up-to-date information that I can. It doesn't mean I have all of the data or have all the facts, but I give you what I think the core facts are. And, you know, if you're on the sidelines because you still have uncertainty about the economy of the market, I mean, there's no news that's, or there's no information that says we're back at that market or that we're giving out loans that's bad from 2005, six, and seven. So what I've seen is some people that have been in that position and they waited a year or two, they're hitting, you know, they're, they're now upset with themselves because they didn't purchase at that time. Now the rates a little bit higher, not crazy higher, but a little bit higher. The homes that they wanted to purchase are obviously higher. So they're not getting the same home. Let's say they could have bought in say 17, 2017 and 2018. So looking at the overall situation, we're really good going well right now. We have a lot of buyers in the market. A lot of people want to invest here. There's a lot of growth activity in Las Vegas. I think it's one of the best places to live right now. If you guys have any questions, you can reach out to me. Tune into my YouTube channel every Wednesday from 5 to 6 p.m. Uh, you can call me or email me anytime. My phone number is 702-332-3532. Uh, obviously, I do these market snapshot, uh, market snapshot updates you know, periodically. You want to stay tuned to my videos and subscribe to my channel. And you also want to pay attention. I'm going to be putting out a new segment of Loan to Keys, which is really real experiences that consumers go through when they're buying a home and some of the challenges that they face and, and how smooth or how not smooth it was on each transition and you know how it works with appraisals and, and getting home inspections and things like that. So stay tuned to that if you guys have any questions. I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys at my next segment. Uh, also, you can stream with me live and uh, we'll talk to you soon.